Hey everybody, my name is Andreas. I'm the Director of Audiology at Hearing Solutions. I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about hearing in the pandemic. So hearing loss is incredibly prevalent. Um, you know, we talk about this all the time, but um, a recent uh, Canadian study suggested that as many as one in two Canadians uh, between the age 40 and 79 uh, experience at least some degree of hearing loss, a mild hearing loss or, or greater. Uh, and yet the vast majority of these individuals um, might not even be aware of it. Uh, that same study estimated that um, close to four out of five of those individuals have an unperceived hearing loss. So they're experiencing hearing loss and yet they may not even be aware of it. There are a lot of different reasons for this. I mean, the onset of hearing loss tends to be extremely gradual. Uh, and so we, we learn lots of ways to cope, uh, cope for it without even realizing it. Um, we use uh, visual cues, we look at lip reading, whether we uh, realize it or not, uh, we use our brain. Um, and so we use our knowledge of the language, of the subject, the person we're talking to, and we fill in the gaps of things that are missing. And for those people who have um, even a mild hearing loss, the things that are missing tend to be um, high frequency speech cues. So sounds like S's or TH's or F's, uh, and that can reduce the clarity of speech. And so uh, because of this, uh, a lot of people have, um, you know, mild hearing loss and aren't aware of it. And um, the way they become aware of it is often somebody else in the family. And so what we've witnessed in the clinic in the past is, you know, these individuals we've brought in maybe by a spouse or family member, and uh, they'll be telling us, you know, I feel that I hear just fine as long as um, others would uh, maybe not mumble or um, wouldn't talk to me from another room or when there's noise going on. And those were the, the clues or the symptoms that would tip people off that maybe something was going on and they would come in and have their, their hearing tested. Um, not necessarily because they were having such challenging uh, difficulties in their life. Sometimes people developed other coping mechanisms like turning up the TV uh, volume or, or using the, the phone on speakerphone and they would have been able to, to cope otherwise. Um, but uh, what's interesting is in, in this pandemic, there have been other, other tips or other clues that might have tipped people off. And so um, I would view this as kind of like a canary in a coal mine, something that might uh, tip us off that something's going on. And some of the big ones are, are things like mask wearing. So I mentioned earlier how uh, wearing a mask uh, is, is impacting uh, visual cues, and that's maybe something that people are relying on as a, as a crutch if they're not hearing as well. Um, what we haven't talked about as much is that um, mask wearing not only robs people of, of the visual cues, but uh, it's also reducing the speech, and uh, it's reducing it in the same area where people with a, even a mild hearing loss is already having a problem. It tends to reduce those high pitches or high frequencies where we uh, produce S's and TH's and F's, some of those sounds that we, we create by rushing air over our tongue and our teeth. Um, and things like a visor or, or a splash guard or um, a plexiglass barrier that have become uh, pretty much commonplace in, in, in um, uh, the community um, are again even reducing those speech cues even further. And so we're seeing new things in the pandemic that might, might have tipped us off. We're getting um, maybe spending more time on video calls or uh, phone calls or, or Skype, whatever it is. Um, so experiencing um, even slight difficulties in, in these new environments might be the new things that tip us off. Um, you know, Winston Churchill said, never let a good crisis go to waste. And so uh, in spite of all these things that are happening, uh, I, I would like to think of it at least, at least as a little bit of a silver lining that, you know, if people are noticing challenges in these, in these new environments that um, perhaps it's an opportunity um, or a call to action for them to come into one of our clinics, have a hearing checked because, um, you know, there's so much we can do and, and we've learned so much in the last decade how, how hearing loss is, is linked with other health uh, risks and um, if we don't have to be at risk, um, I would love to see those people um, getting treatment earlier um, and, and that would just be a really exciting outcome for me. So um, don't wait uh, till the future. If you're, if you're noticing any of these things or you're noticing loved ones experiencing these difficulties, come in, have your hearing checked. Uh, it's a painless process and uh, that way you can know uh, for certain whether or not there's something going on in the background. Thanks.